Hey, so we have 20 unique ways to take your loved one's cremated remains and then what to do with them. So I put together 20 different uh, things that you can creatively do with cremated remains nowadays. Some of these I'm sure we've talked about or you've heard of, but I wanted to do a nice concise 20 um, places for you. So the first is from a company called Eternal Ascent, and it is where they take a little bit of cremated remains, put them in a helium balloon, send it up into the air. So about five miles up, the balloon reaches a temperature of negative 40, below zero, and the balloon essentially pops, and the inside crystallizes, and so then you get scattered in the wind about five miles above the ground. Number two, in a figurine, like an hourglass or maybe a paperweight that sets on your desk. So they take cremated remains and they put them into these two or three different types of mediums where they can do like a glass figurine or something that they put cremated remains inside of. Then there are coral reefs. So the cremated remains are mixed with the cement and or concrete and they are formed into a unit that is then placed in a coral reef and it becomes part of that reef system to replace some of what has been broken away um, you can be pressed into a vinyl record and a song put on that record that maybe reminds you of your loved one you can be put into fireworks and shot up in the air you can be put in um, ammunition so let's say someone was an avid skeet shooter you can have um, cartridges made for an ammunition made for all the buddies that did skeet shooting and they could go out and do a round of skeet in memory of the person and he or she could be shot up with every round. The cremated remains can be mixed in with paint and maybe a portrait of that person is painted or maybe a house is painted with the person. Um, you can also mix in with tattoo ink. So I've, I've talked to a lady who has done this um, and so we're going to do a future video on it but so you mix it in and then that person is basically imprinted into you in that tattoo ink in a tattoo in memory of the person. There is a company called Cami Bear and they take a small um, teddy bear and the cremated remains go inside a vessel inside of that bear. So rather than just a little urn, you can keep some of your person in this teddy bear that you can then have on your bed, you can hold, you can carry with you. Um, it's kind of a comfort item along with a cremated remains holder talked about kind of glass figurines you could also do blown glass where you have the person's cremated remains mixed in with the glass and then when it's blown out they are in that unique one-of-a-kind hand-blown glass piece so the man who created the frisbee Walter Morrison wanted his cremated remains mixed in with a batch of frisbees so this was done so there was a whole um, limited batch of frisbees that were released that he was actually inside of the frisbee some of his cremated remains Keith Richards uh, the guitarist for the Rolling Stones talks about how he snorted a line like cocaine but of his father's cremated remains after his dad died you could take the cremated remains and make a tea from it and drink that tea has been done can't make this up um, you can turn the person into a diamond. So they press the cremated remains down and create a gemstone or diamond from it. And you can put that in, in your jewelry. You can keep it solid um, or kind of solitude on its own. Um, they're gorgeous and they are completely unique per, for the person. So it is something really cool that you could take cremated remains and put them and make them into this gemstone that you could wear and you know what who or what it is but nobody else does so it's kind of like your own little secret of your beautiful piece um, in terms of jewelry also you could take some of the cremated remains and they press them um, not into a gemstone but they put them on like a metal band to wear as a ring um, I know on Etsy there's a lot of companies that are doing this I found it um, for like pet cremated remains where you could take and they put it on the exterior of the ring and so you have cremated remains attached to the metal look that one up so there's a company called chronicle cremation designs and they do ceramic wear 
with cremated remains in them. So you could take and have the cremated remains put into the ceramic and have a mug made out of it. So then when you're, or a plate, and maybe you have a special meal once a year on this plate that your mom is in the plate and you make your mom's favorite food and eat it on the plate. So there's a few different things you could do with that. You can send the cremated remains to the moon. or You could have a drone take and scatter the cremated remains. Always remember when it comes to some of those things, cremated remains are not just light and ashy. They have dense pieces and chunks within them. So that's not going to just blow away. That's going to fall. And it's going to fall hard, like dropping a pebble or a rock from a mile above the ground. It's going to hit somewhere. So there's definitely some things about scattering up above that concerns me for safety reasons. So there is a company, it's called the Tolad Walking Stick, and you load the cremated remains in this walking stick, and it registers for about a mile walk. Every time you step with that walking stick, it will release just a little bit of cremated remains, and you can slowly spread the person along a favorite path or you know, walking trail that you maybe went on and so you go on a solitude walk maybe or a family walk and you can spread that person's cremated remains during that walk. So then we have the traditional, an urn or scattering in a traditional matter and there is every type of urn available in every shape, every size. For every hobby that you have, there's, um, you can get one 3D cast in the person's head shape um, so it looks like you know, a bust of the person or um, coffee cans, toolboxes, deer, elk, you name it, urns come in the shape. So you can find them from every company. Etsy, I've said, is out there along with every mainstream urn line. Um, then you can scatter and, and scatter them wherever you want, however you would like to. Um, in different ways. So you can do on water by floating them out on a biodegradable urn. Um, like a plate or in a little box that you drop out and the urn eventually um, breaks away and then the cremated remains are dispersed in the water. So hundreds of ways that you can um, disperse of someone with cremated remains. So those are 20 that I have compiled together, but please share your stories with me. Um, what did you do with your loved one following the cremation when you got back their cremated remains? You know, do you have them in a special container? Did you do something extravagant like a firework with them? Um, share with me what your outcome was from after you got back your loved one's cremated remains and how you memorialized them. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.